You take two hits in a situation where your clothes have been loosened and you can just flop backward uh, when you need to. Now many people miss the point because after two hits you feel completely peculiar. You feel as though your body is undergoing some strange kind of anesthesia. All the air has been pumped out of the room. Colors jump up, the edges sharpen. It's, uh, and at that point, people say, And then what you have to do is you have to take one more enormous hit. And this separates the intrepid from the casual, believe me. You close your eyes. And then these colors begin racing together and it forms this mandalic, floral, slowly rotating thing, which I call the chrysanthemum. The chrysanthemum forms and you watch it for like 15 seconds. If it doesn't give way, then you didn't do enough. You have to do more, one more hit. Well then what happens is it like physically propels you through this chrysanthemum-like thing. And then there's this very defined sense of bursting through something, a membrane. On the other side, and this is now, remember, my experience, on the other side, as, as you break through, there's a cheer. There's a, 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 a whole bunch of entities waiting on the other side. burst into this space and um, and they're saying how wonderful that you're here you come so rarely we're so delighted to see you these things are there and they're hammering at you and they come forward they're like jewel self dribbling basketballs and there are, there are many of them and they come pounding toward you and they will stop in front of you and vibrate but then they do a very disconcerting thing which is they jump into your body they jump into your body and then they jump back out again and the whole thing is going on in this very high speed mode where you're being presented with thousands of details per second and you can't get a hold on you say you know my god what's happening and these things are saying don't abandon yourself to amazement which is exactly what you want to do. You just want to go nuts with how crazy this is. They say, don't pay attention, pay attention, pay attention to what we do. Well, what are they doing? Well, what they're doing is they're making objects with their voices. They're singing structures into existence these things are and what they will do is they'll come toward you and then and you have to understand they don't have arms so we're kind of downloading this into a lower dimension to even describe it
But what they do is they offer things to you. Say, look at this, look at this. And as your attention goes toward these objects, you realize that what you're being shown is impossible. It's impossible. It's not simply intricate, beautiful, and hard to manufacture. It's impossible to make these things. The nearest analogy would be to the Fabergé eggs. These things are like the toys that are scattered around the nursery inside a UFO or something. Celestial toys, and they are the toys themselves appear to be somehow alive. The toys themselves can uh, sing other objects into existence. So what's happening is there's just this proliferation of elf gifts, and the elf gifts are moving around, singing, and the whole thing is directed toward. They're saying, "Do what we are doing." And they're very insistent. They say, "Do it, do it, do it," and you feel like a bubble. For and now this is subjective. I mean, only a you know five percent report this, but it happens to me. You feel like some kind of bubble inside your body that's beginning to move up toward your mouth. And when it comes out, it isn't sound; it's vision. You discover that you can pump stuff out of your mouth by singing, and they're urging you to do this. They say, and the whole thing is like, you know, we're now at minute 4.5 with this stuff, and、uh, you speak in a kind of glossolalia. There's a spontaneous outpouring of syntax, unaccompanied by what is normally called meaning. It's sort of,、uh, you know, he ding wa wak sab di di mu ya di di ding ya wa ak si ki di di nem wa ha ve de tam bo ha ga ge te. And this is accompanied by a, a modality, something seen. And they're saying, "Yes, do it, do it, do it." And then, after a minute or so of this, the whole thing begins to collapse in on itself, and they literally begin to physically move away from you. And usually, their final shot is they actually wave goodbye and they say, "Deja vu, deja vu." Which makes no sense at all if you analyze it. So then you come down. And you're now at minute six to seven, and you come down, and it's like being more loaded than you've ever been. It's like about a 700 mic acid trip, but you embrace it as totally down. You say I'm totally down. I mean, you look, you look like a termite from Arturus, and the room is、uh, decorated in Amish quilts. But I'm completely back. <laughs> and、uh, then, over a minute or a minute and a half or so, the room just comes right back together. And and four minutes after that, some people can give no account of it whatsoever. They just say.、Oh, You know, I, I don't know. It was the weirdest thing that ever happened to me, and I I can't remember it now.